21. Calculate the standard cell potential for each of the reactions below and note whether the reaction is spontaneous under standard state conditions. Okay, so for this example, we have two Ag plus aqueous plus Cu solid yields Cu2 plus aqueous plus 2 Ag solid. And from there, we want to find the standard cell potential. Well, that's an E cell. So anytime that they're asking for a standard cell potential, we're always trying to find an E cell value. This notch at the top just means that we're under standard state conditions, and it does say standard here, so we're good to go. Now, what is the reaction? Or not the reaction, but what's the equation for E cell? Well, it's this right here. So I'll put this up here. A general E cell always is the voltage, or the E, the, the cell potential, of a cathode minus the cell potential of an anode. So generally speaking, we usually just say cathode minus anode. But the thing is, well, who's going to be the cathode here and who's going to be the anode? Okay, well, let's first figure that out. Now, in order to do that, just know that the cathode, remember, red cat, reduction happens at the cathode, and reduction, you're always going to be more negative. Oxidation happens at the anode, and that's always going to become more positive. So we just have to look at these charges. So for example, when I look at Ag plus going into Ag, if I hook these up, I notice that for Ag, it goes from a plus one charge, just a plus one. I don't care how many I have of them, right? So it's a plus one going into a... I don't see any charge in the upper right-hand corner. That's a zero. So I'm going from plus one to a zero. Am I becoming more positive or more negative? You got it. We're becoming more negative. And that's the cathode. So I know that the silver has to be the cathode, which means that the other one obviously has got to be the anode. So let's just double check. If I hook up the coppers... I'm going from a no charge to a 2 plus. Any, anytime that you don't see a charge in the upper right-hand corner, that's always zero. So this is going from a zero to a plus two. I'm becoming more positive. So that has to be the anode. And maybe I'll just say anode. So it checks out. Now just know, when we are doing this formula, cathode minus anode, cathode minus anode, if you put the minus in there, you do not have to flip the signs of your half reaction potentials. And just know that where did these come from? I went in the back of the textbook to find the right ones out for you guys, but we couldn't have done this without looking up these E values. So I'm using cathode minus anode because I don't want to change any signs. It's just, you know, I like to keep everything simple. So E cell would be the Ag half reaction voltage, so that's 0 0.7996, and then I'm going to subtract that from the other one, the anode, 0 0.34. Let's plug it into Calci, see what we get. E cell would equal 0 0.7996 minus 0 0.34. If we do take into consideration sig figs, since I'm only going out to the hundredths place, I got to keep it to the hundredths. So 0.46, if you we want to keep it that way. And that's the first part. How easy was that? Now you just have to tell me, or I'm going to tell you, right? We'll do it together. Is this spontaneous or not? Well, that goes by what the sign of the E cell is. If you have a positive E cell, an E cell greater than zero, the reaction spontaneous. If it's a negative, that's non-spontaneous. In this case, 0.46, that's a positive value. So we know that this reaction is spontaneous under standard state conditions, which means that no additional amount of energy is needed to make this oxidation reduction reaction happen. And that's it. That's all I got for you. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel um, to help us out. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Keep studying hard. Practice, practice, practice. I believe in you guys, all right? I'll be here in the next lesson. Bye-bye.